Hi everyone, my name is Parv. I'm the founder of Viria. Welcome to my EEG Dive Discovery Vlog. In this series, we're going to explore how to meditate to transcend using a unique tool, Viria's EEG Transcendometer app. This app analyzes your EEG data to reveal your state transitions during transcending meditation, aiming to help you cultivate a deeper, more informed practice. I won't dive deep into the technique, Auto Self Transcending its research and historical significance in India and the U.S. today. However, I'll add some links in the description for those interested. Here's a quick summary. Auto-self-transcending meditation involves innocently thinking a mantra to experience a content-free state of consciousness. The essence of transcending through meditation really lies in its simplicity. It involves effortlessly thinking a mantra tapping into a subtle mental reflex that operates beneath our conscious awareness. Much like breathing continues whether we're aware of it or not. There are two key aspects of this meditation that I like to point out. The first is that there is a unique EEG signature that's generated in the brain when someone's transcending. And transcending is different than transcendental consciousness. This is typically confused. Transcending and transcendental consciousness are two different things. The EEG signature that is generated from transcending or during transcending is crucial for understanding the depths during this meditation. Secondly, the nervous system's response and realignment during transcending really highlights the impact of transcending or developing the reflex of transcending daily. Now, the initial state of the nervous system prior to starting the meditation or transcending really affects the depth of transcending and this nervous system normalization experience that comes from transcending. It really reveals this interconnectedness of mind and body as we move from conscious awareness to subconscious awareness to unconscious awareness and then touch pure awareness or content-free consciousness. Let's simplify this concept with an analogy. Imagine you're a pilot ready to fly your plane. Initiating transcending meditation is akin to starting your engine and taking off. Here we effortlessly think a mantra and this sets our journey in motion. As your plane ascends into the air, you engage autopilot. Transcending similarly is also engaged spontaneously and without effort. But here's where it gets interesting. In your journey, it's about moving towards a physical destination, another airport maybe. But during meditation, it's about reaching a state where you and your plane momentarily disappear from the radar, symbolizing your access to this profound state of content-free awareness or transcendental consciousness. So technically, you're transcending to transcendental consciousness. And once you experience transcendental consciousness, or when you disappear from the radar, you find yourself again at the runway, sitting in the plane, waiting to take off again. So the true aim in transcending meditation is to enter and re-enter the cycle of taking off, reaching optimal effortless altitude, and then disappearing from the radar and reappearing at the runway and doing this cycle as many times as possible during the meditation. This cycle isn't about the meditation technique itself, but reflects a deeper process that is dormant within all of us. And just like the weather condition affects a flight, your nervous system state before you begin meditating to transcend significantly impacts your ability to transcend. If you're stressed, it's like trying to fly in poor weather, making it longer and harder to reach that optimal altitude. So the key takeaway is that your nervous system before you meditate has a direct impact on what you're going to experience. Deeper transcending, shallow transcending, more normalization, less normalization. It all depends on your nervous system. And that changes throughout the day. In the morning, our nervous system is usually a lot calmer because we had eight hours of sleep if we had good sleep. And then by midday, our nervous system is really ramped up from the day's activities. And if we have a good rest and recovery protocol, we want to keep our nervous system calm before we go to sleep so we can ensure quality sleep. So having a tool like Transcending allows us to optimize the nervous system throughout the day. 
and when we do it really has an effect on either a deeper self-referral transpersonal experience or the body de-stressing itself and just releasing stress so it can normalize itself for other activities during the day. I think this is a good point to stop. I hope that I've given you a clear understanding of what transcending meditation is and its impact on the nervous system. Check out my next EEG discovery vlog where I review my transcending session using various EEG transcendometer at our wellness partner space in New York City.